Welcome. <laughs> oh, cucumba, cucumba. <laughs> yes, here I, I made one earlier. Guess what I did with this? I'll just let me drink it first. Ninety-five percent water. A <laughs> real dehydrator. <laughs> no, it's not a dehydrator. <laughs> Sorry guys, how are you doing? Uh, silly moment for me. Feeling great, feeling wonderful. How are you all doing? Welcome. Um, right here. Here. Oh, can't tip it too much because it's nearly full. Is... Horsetail. Sage. Dandelion. Let's spill it. Oh, there you go. Yummy. <laughs> oh, you can smell the sage. You can smell, smell, yeah, more the sage. But I only put a bit of sage in. Most of it is um, horse tail, which is it's what we channeled. So... I've been drinking it now for, well, actually, as soon as somebody told me about it, I was onto it. I uh, started to hunt for it, wanted to know exactly if it's free from all the pesticides, the crap. Anyway, I've managed to do it, so some good news coming soon on my website. So just watch out for that. Okay, so start again. Today's conversation. This conversation I'm going to have with you today will never be spoken about in school, will never be spoken about in religion, will never be spoken about in any kind of um, way other than if you are uh, with a healer who understands energy and works with it and more so sees energy. And I'll explain how important this message is today and why it's important and uh, hopefully you'll you, you'll think about it and you'll say okay it's either rubbish or it makes sense okay so let me at least give you the overall path of a healer and how I came to this very important um, observation and um, and I'll explain other things as well <clears throat> so this video is called um, Mother Earth's Magical Half Hour. Beautiful. So at 38 years old, I started a journey and that journey was trying to understand what was going on around me. It was all so fast. It was all so amazing synchronicities were happening people were coming into my life like what, what it was like my jaw was dropping every single moment of the day it was so overwhelming the download of what really is happening at any given moment that this moment is called the awakening so you begin to awaken I don't think we're ever fully awakened, but the awakening process can start in your life. And when it happens, all of a sudden you see synchronicities and you see things that you never saw before. As I wandered on this path aimlessly, looking up all the time instead of down for the first time in my life, I realized that there's another world. Something's happening that I got actually very angry at one point because I... I was so upset. That anger turned to wanting to stand on a mountain and shout to everybody saying, you're not living a real life. We've been duped. Now, I can't say that because that's like a smoker saying, don't smoke. <laughs> and they're the worst. But you really feel that way because you realize that there's, there's, there's magic in this world. There's ultimately magic, synchronicities, uh, other worlds, within worlds, things happening that kind of, is so overwhelming there's no words and it's hard to express it's hard and i think there's a reason why there's no words because the dictionary limits real truth 
it limits with with really shallow words. So all of a sudden I started getting into this field, what was called um, healing. And I, I, I rejected it at first, but somebody said I was a healer. And I'm saying, no, no, no. And ultimately you hear that a lot, but actually it's true. Uh, everybody's a healer. Okay, so I decided to give it a go. So I give it a go and people were starting to say, oh, I feel better, thanks, can you do it again? I'm like, okay. People are saying it feels better. So like I wasn't one of those who had been born with the gift. I see everything. I knew nothing, nothing. And now I've been doing this 16 years. I realize I know less now than I did before. But as I was going along, I started seeing things. I'm like, wow, that person looks different. And, the, and my friends would say, why? I'd say, because I can see things like around them, which just very faint but they're different anyway I stopped telling my friends because my friends thought I was crazy so I started telling myself I started having a conversation with me my higher self not my brain but my higher self in here and this was confirming everything by saying yeah keep looking look deeper ask yourself why why is that happened I'm like wow wow and before you know it I'm here after these 16 years and my understanding of of life and energy is completely different to when I was 38 and spent all those years chasing my tail. So this workshop is about the magic 30 minutes of Mother Earth, Mother Nature, what she gives us. So ultimately, looking at the whole point to start with, anything that's alive has magic. Anything that dies loses its magic within 30 minutes, right? And what that is, is called a life force. That's what I call it. You can call it chi, prana, whatever you want. But to me, it's called life force. It's your life energy. Anything that's alive, whether it's an ant, whether it's a dog, whether it's a tree, whether it's an apple, whether it's a fruit, a veg, uh, herbs, seeds, nuts, when they're alive, they're alive and they generate an energy around them. So at first I was seeing people and animals working with them and I was seeing this energy around them. Now with fruit and vegetables, it's a very constant energy. With, um, for me anyway, with, uh, with trees and, and um, um, mountains and and flowers, it's very constant, the energy. It's very real, it's very tangible, and you can see it, it's there all the time. I never really studied um, illness within trees or plants or, or fruit and vegetables because I didn't see that around them and nobody ever asked me, are oh, my trees ill, sick, is there anything you can do, can you heal it? Nobody ever asked me that, so never actually went down that path. But I believe that there must be people out there who are um, tree healers or, or healers of, of Mother Earth. I was a healer of people. So I'd look at you and say, you've got migraine on the left hand side of your head, which comes and goes. And you'll go, how do you know that? And I'll say, because around your, your life force, which is like that much, and sometimes that much, depending on how strong you are, if you're meditating, it gets wider. Um, if you're in a really good mood, it's really woof. <laughs> so depending on how you're feeling, physically, mentally, emotionally, is how I see the life force. If I was to say to you, and generalizing is never a good thing, but if I was to generalize and say it's between two and six inches around your body, that uh, as I'm stood here, that's kind of like how I see it. Now, I don't always see colors, some people do, some people are really gifted with that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. No idea why, don't ask, not important. But when I see the energy around you, it, it vibrates at a very unusual vibration. Sometimes it vibrates at, at like really uh, like stars. Sometimes it vibrates and the energy can be different shapes. So they can be like uh, shapes of, uh, when you look into mother nature and the energy around us, to me, I see little stars and a lot of the time see cigarette shapes, 
but ultimately it changes as and when you're eating, sleeping, uh, working, and what moods you're in. And uh, of course, how you're feeling um, physically as well. So I'm watching this, and I'm starting to see kind of patterns, but not exact patterns, because everybody's different. But I, I, And then I'd say, oh, I can feel something within you. So I could put my hand and feel that. So I can feel energy and I can see it. But let's talk about the scene because this is where it becomes really vital and important that we talk about it. So then you can share it with your friends. So I start looking at energy around people. Then I started at looking at energy around trees. I wanted to expand my understanding of energy and I wanted to concentrate because I couldn't look at people all day long but I could look at the trees outside here or where I used to meditate up in the um, park so I'd watch energy and see if there was a shift and change and as I watched it I could see sometimes the energy slightly change but not so much on um, Mother Earth's plants big trees mountains um, and, and around the tree, what was hanging on the tree, sometimes I used to see, and this is where it gets interesting, I used to see apples, oranges, um, lemons, uh, avocados, and I'd just sit and meditate wherever I was with shamans. If I was working in gardens, we were doing work in gardens, or wherever we were in the world. If I was in Ibiza doing things outside, preparing for a ritual, there'd be plants around me and, and um, fruit trees, and I'd sit and look at this energy. And there is a life force around fruit, as well as vegetables. So this became evident to me that this life force is really, really important around all of us. Without it, we're no longer here, so the spirit is gone. The question is, is that life force spirit or is that a life force that is just there and comes and goes? It's a great question. Has a, 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 could, could we come back as a, a fruit? Because if that life force is around there, then could that life force be the spirit that is within us? No idea. All I know is that there's a life force and I can feel that life force and see it. So it took years, but I started thinking, I'm getting to understand this more. And I remember, I, I, I may have told you this before, I was with a group of pretty advanced healers who were aged between 40 and 75, 80 years old. And they asked me to come and do a talk. And I sat one lady down on a seat and I just said, I looked at them all and I didn't need to say anything I, uh, to them to, to prove that I think they were wanting to see why I was successful. And all I did with this lady sat with me, I went to the side of a, a, a kidneys or a liver down here, just to one side. I put my hand there and I said, you see, guys, this lady here is suffering right here. And this lady turned and she says, how the hell do you know that? And that broke the ice of everybody. Then they knew that this guy wasn't full of shit, wasn't talking about, about trying to sell anything. He knew what he was doing. And I said, the reason why I know that is because I practice every day and I take my work extremely serious in the sense of learning as a natural scientist. I'm always observing, always looking, and I'm listening to my higher self and clearing the thoughts and the feelings and the baggage and the nonsense. And I just go with the flow and go with the feeling and trust. That's how I started the, um, the workshop. And it was an amazing workshop and they got so much out of it. And I got so much out of them because they were sharing loads of stuff with me. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm learning as much as I'm sharing, which is how it should be. So now you know the basis of how I started and where I am. The reason why I make this video today is because of something that school won't teach you, education won't teach you, system won't teach you, and neither with anybody else. But a healer can because he can tell you exactly why and how, and I just have. So here's the thing. We all know that fruit and vegetables and herbs and seeds and nuts and grains are part of our healing body system. We know this, it's vital. 
if they come without pest, uh, without pesticides, they haven't been tampered by um, uh, any GMO, Monsanto, 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 uh, Monsanto, Bayer, all of these trying to um, modify the seeds. If they are natural, um, healthy seeds and they grow, they're nice old trees and we know that they've not been tampered with. That fruit and vegetable, when we eat, is really important to every single aspect of our mind body spirit so every fruit has a direct healing medication for the body every fruit every vegetable has a certain medication for the part of the body so basically you are eating medication for that body to grow strengthen and to become strong that that's the bottom line that nobody will ever tell you that but it's the truth nobody will mention that but it's the truth it's the truth every banana has an amazing ability to heal a certain part of the body every carrot that you eat has an amazing part to heal a certain part of the body every broccoli has an amazing part for your body every grape has an amazing part for your body. Every single plant, every single herb, all of those things that Mother Earth grows that comes from the trees and grows up from the ground has an amazing ability for you as a human being. That's what it's grown for. That's why you only need the food that's grown. That's all you need and you'll survive healthy. You drink the water that Mother Earth gives you and you eat the food that Mother Earth gives you. That's it. That is a clean, healthy way to live. Now, a long time ago, it was, it was hijacked to that because somebody wanted to make a lot of money. So they would give you all of these different things that weren't what Mother Nature gave you. And then they brought in cancers that's how cancer started. When when humans started becoming greedy and started taking things and making things that we put into our body, that Mother Earth says, what are you doing? I give you everything that you need. So, if you eat what Mother Earth grows for you in a natural state, organic, healthy, pesticide-free, GMO-3, you will be healthy. There's no doubt about it, you'll be healthy. Okay, that's my truth. But here's where it becomes really fascinating. You know when you see animals like cows and they're grazing, or you see a horse or a donkey and you watch them and they're grazing in the field. If you just stand back and leave them alone, watch what they do. If you ever go into the forests and watch uh, in Bali uh, and watch the monkeys, watch how they eat. Watch the gorillas, watch, watch Mother Nature at its most pure and natural. What happens when these animals eat? Not when we eat and interfere, forget our interference when they're in nature and they're left alone. What do they do? They eat. But what are they eating? They're eating directly from Mother Earth. Right? So every banana that the monkey takes, every snap of, of a branch of a leaf that the gorilla eats, every time a horse bends down and pulls up the grass with the roots and eats that, it eats not only the medicine, but it eats an energy. And an energy that is no longer there if you pull that out or pull it off a tree and leave that for half an hour. So there is a magical difference. And I'm going to explain what that difference is. When you eat a cucumber, it gives you all the things that you need. But if this cucumber has been shipped from one country to another 
or it's been left in a fridge for a few weeks. There's something that's missing from it and that's its life force. Because once you pull it out of the ground, it's no longer alive. It now starts to deteriorate, right? So the quicker you eat it, the better. But you're not always gonna be able to do that. But here's the thing. There is this magical 30 minutes that is really hard to explain to people unless you can see with your own eyes. That, and I don't often see it, but when I do, I think, wow. And I look at this and try and see energy around it. I don't see it. Not the same. Not at all. I don't see it. But when I pull that from a tree or from a bush or from the ground, I see an energy around it. Now, I see the energy more when it's attached to the tree. But when it's pulled, the energy starts to slowly and surely disappear. So it goes. So what I'm saying today is to help you rethink and just feel a little bit and say to yourself, is Mark full of BS or could there be some truth in this? Could it be that when we eat directly from the tree, something else is happening? So here's what I believe. I believe when you eat within those 30 minutes, fruit, vegetables, grains, seeds, whatever they are, instantly within them 30 minutes, natural and raw, not cooking or doing anything, just eating them straight away, you eat the life force of that medicine. It is so divine, so pure, and so healing that there are no words you only feel it. Now think about that. If you were ever a child and you went jumping, like I did, we used to climb trees at Dr. Nibbon's house and we used to pull the apples and eat them. Crab apples, normal apples, pears. And in that moment when we were kids eating them, there was something really and I, I've got to say it, spiritual about that. There was something so connecting to the tree that you were on. You could feel and be part of that energy. And when you eat a fruit freshly pulled from a tree, the, the, it's magical. When you go and pick your own strawberries and sit down and pick it and eat it, there's something magical. Don't tell me there isn't. Think about it. Go inside and ask yourself, when I went picking those strawberries and I, or I, I went into somebody's garden and picked a strawberry up and ate it or went into a greenhouse and picked a, a, a tomato and ate it, you can't tell me there was something not magical about that. There was something that you didn't even know. You couldn't express it. You could only feel it. You can't even say it. There's something so divine about that connection between you and the natural life force of another plant. And thus I say to you, respect Mother Earth because she gives us more than we could ever imagine. She heals us more than we could ever know. She is the answer to everything. So plant your natural fruit and vegetables if you can, wherever you can. If you've got space outside in your balcony, plant fruit and vegetables. Just plant them and do it and watch the transformation. Because even if you have a handful of that fruit, in that moment that you eat them off the tree, you will create an electrical field around you that grows in a way that I can only explain to people as I will when I write my book about this, that this is a divine spiritual healing energy medication. So if you want to know how to strengthen your life force, go and eat some fruit from a tree today. Pull some broccoli, some cabbage, anything, and just eat it there and then. 
and then come back to me and tell me how you felt. Close your eyes and eat and feel it. For once in your life, stop what you're doing and see what it feels like. Feel what it feels like as you're eating that fruit from the tree or from the ground, that vegetable. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just telling you my experience, what I believe is what's missing from the human body. What's missing from the earthly, physical body. I believe if you can keep your spiritual energy high, your life force strong, then you will feed the inside of your physical in a way that clears dis-ease. That clears away pain and suffering and fear and worry. Don't look upon fruit and vegetables now from a shot like it's it's no good for you. It is good for you. It retains so much, 70% of what you need, even if it's old. But if you can now find a local farmer who produces local produce, and you can go and pick that, even if it's one apple in that day, even if it's something, strawberry, anything, a plum from a tree, you're feeding your life force. It's the medication for your life force. I hope this video serves you well. I hope you can take this video and the information and utilize it and now start to think about it. Start to think about it. You know, pulling an apple from a tree a day keeps the doctor away. The life force in fruit and vegetables and herbs and seeds and nuts and all of those things are never spoken about. And I believe that there may be text, ancient text somewhere. I don't know if there is or not. But most things that I say, people come back and say, did you know that's an ancient? I'll go, no, but actually, if we can observe, then they observed a thousand years ago. It makes sense. We just need to observe and see. So I hope I've opened your mind, body and spirit to be able to go out there and just grab an apple from a tree and experience that moment by sitting down and eating it and listening. There's some kind of spiritual ritual in a beautiful way going on. It's kind of like a ceremony. It's something special that I ask you to do and try today. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for going to markbayeski.com and buying your authentic crystals, oils and incense and soon teas to come. And thank you so much again. The sales have been incredible. We're getting our money back, <laughs> which is great. Um, and I hope you love the cards as much as I loved working on them and channeling certain messages that make a massive difference to our life daily. From my heart to yours, I'm gonna rub some cucumber, cucumber all over my eyes and face now. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. Thank you once again.